stop playing with him. Jada Vinci and his bitch. Okay. I'm so bad I got him twerking with me and his bitch. Huh? Got him asking. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jada Vinci here with a. I don't even know what to call it. This hair is like two and a half, three years old. I made this wig, I colored this wig that long ago, so I decided that I wanted to put it on. So I guess this is me just like slaying the wig real quick. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna keep watching. I mean, it looks really good. Hey, so we're gonna be wearing a throwback wig. I actually made this a long, long time ago. I do have a wig cap on just to lay my hair down. We're not doing no ball cap method. We're not doing none of that. So I realized that low key, with it sitting on my edge, I can like see. It's a homemade wig, very old. This hair is really, really, really old. Going with some got to be glue. <laughs> We're going to use the yellow one. And we have our blow dryer over here. We're gonna put it on the back of our hand. And we're going to spray some got to be glue in there. Make us a little concoction. We're gonna just begin by wiping it on our forehead. The great thing about got to be glue, it does not break out your hair, like break off your hair. For me, it doesn't. Um, I don't know what it does for you, but it absolutely does not break off my hair or my edges or nothing like that. And it comes off with water. This frontal that I'm about to put on is really, really, really old, so. I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping to expect the best, as always. So it's getting a bit tacky, so we're gonna spray some more Got To Be Glue down. Okay, once it's a bit tacky, we don't want it all the way. We wanna make sure it's tacky enough to lay the wig because if it's too loose, then it's gonna get messy and if it's too dry, then it's not gonna stick. Then we're gonna go on with our rat tail comb. I love how I make everything a tutorial. It's just like a habit. Don't even be trying because I've already put this wig on before. Okay, so we've got areas on our face that need more additional work. You guys can see it's kind of lifting underneath here. So we're gonna just add some more got to be glue. Okay, honey, honey. So I actually ended up putting on a scarf to kind of 
speed up the process. At this point, you're gonna debate if you want baby hairs or not. Personally, I do. And when you are putting on an already like done wig, I would suggest that you kind of, I put it in twists because I want a beachy wave look, but low key, that's, that's the low key. High key because I wanted everything to be out of the way. And position out our baby hairs. 100% optional. That's what we would do, but we're gonna just go in with our foam. We don't have much left, so. So as we let that dry, it's going to mimic a another type of hold because that the mousse that I used is kind of like firming and it's gonna hold the hair into place. So now we're gonna just wait and I'm gonna put my camera back on the charger then I'll be back to show you guys how I further style it. But then I'm gonna come back tomorrow because I'm about to put on makeup right now. Um, so the get ready with me part will be for tomorrow. Okay, so it hasn't been much real time, but this right here is already arrived. Like, okay. So, all right, let's take off the scarf. Um, if you liked baby hairs, then I mean, by all means, do them. If you don't, by all means, don't do them. Um, now, what I would do is go in and clean up the edges, but um, yeah, we don't got to do that right now. I'm gonna do my makeup tomorrow, so I'm gonna come back with like the final final. But for now, she guys want my hair looking like. I just don't wanna put on makeup right now because I'm not going anywhere and tomorrow's my dad's birthday, you know? So, um, yeah, I will prefer to do it then. But if you guys have not already seen my dad does my makeup, fail. You guys have to watch it. It's the funniest video on YouTube, like hands down. And if you guys are interested in how I dyed and made this wig, I have a video up. So I'm gonna link it in the description. So be sure to check that out. I literally showed you guys how to make a wig and how I colored it like this. So I've had this hair going on three years. So that is flabbergasting and this wig is bomb like i feel like my old self again because as you guys know i had a little baby a little girl Sully marie and i really haven't been feeling like myself lately but um you guys have been hyping me up and i love it this is what the final wig is looking like and this is actually how i'm gonna wear it tomorrow so i'm gonna put the same like little twist that y'all saw last time i'm gonna put it back in um so yeah this is me this is how i reattach 
an old wig. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. This Louis got me feeling like a baddie. Scoochie got me feeling like a baddie.